Welcome, and thank you so much for stopping by, for choosing to spend a few minutes of your day with me, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's Galadon, it's Town Hall 14, and yes, we are going to be taking your questions, comments, and concerns, and sharing a couple of my favorite recent Legend League attacks. I did have a pretty good season this time around, even though I didn't push at all until the Town Hall 14 update dropped. Like the recent video said, I did kind of pay to win. Obviously, we gemmed to max, and it made a huge difference right up until I got to about 57, 5,800 trophies. I made it to number 20 in the United States. I briefly cracked the top 200 globally, and then things, well, I'll admit, they kind of went south the last day of Legend League. I started facing players from alternate attacks. I faced Rigo Torres, a former World Championship player as well, and bases that looked deceptively simple yet proved difficult. And maybe if you guys ask, I will go ahead and put some of those fails in a future video so you can see some of these bases that these top level players were using. But yeah, the hybrid did not go nearly as well. I of course also started to run into all sorts of weaponized builder huts which was, yes, I realize I mentioned in a video how people should do it, then I got what I asked for, and I got crushed. It goes back to the old saying, be careful what you ask for. So in that case, if I'm getting what I ask for, I'm gonna say, you know what I ask? I ask that everybody that watches today's video takes a little extra effort before they make their next purchase in Clash of Clans. You knew this was coming and uses code Galadon. Goes to settings, goes to more settings, scrolling all the way to the bottom. I call it the basement of Clash of Clans and then typing in my name under creator code. If you would do that, I would be eternally grateful. I know I mention it every time, but I try to at least make the segues interesting because this is a vital part of the channel and honestly, in addition to the charity giving that I can do because you guys use code Galadon, it does keep the channel going and it keeps the daily uploads coming. All right, so this attack turned out pretty well and wraps up with a strong three star. This was one of my favorite attacks this season because everything just felt like it went to plan. And I do have favorite attacks, just like I have favorite videos, and sometimes you guys comment on them surprisingly. Now, recently I did mention in a live stream about the Honey, Attack for Me, I'm in Jail episode. One of my favorite episodes of all time. It also explains why I left Lost Phoenix. Make sure you watch that if you get a chance. I'll try to put the link up. Then there was, of course, the very first ever No Cash Clash episode. And I had forgotten that during that episode, I actually said, it's not like I'm going to get a million views on this thing. And then, lo and behold, we are actually closing in on 900,000 views on that episode. So I'm gonna link it up here as well. If you guys get a chance, go back, watch episode one of No Cash Clash. And then of course you could watch the whole playlist, but wouldn't that be amazing if that first episode actually made it to a million views? That is crazy. Other episodes that I really enjoyed putting together, many of them, believe it or not, include Peter's $17. And there is a special place in my heart for any of you viewers that happen to go back and watch some of my oldest episodes. Also, remember, Peter does have an abandoned YouTube channel. I think there's some pretty entertaining stuff over there as well. I'm trying to get him to take it up again, but Peter making YouTube videos is about as likely as me playing Clash Royale again. And that is ironic because of course, on my YouTube channel, the single most viewed video of all time was this, the very first Clash Royale YouTuber tournament that I kind of hosted that was held in Helsinki, Finland way back in 2016. That video has over 13 million views and of course features many of your favorite YouTubers from Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and now Brawl Stars. But I kind of felt like from the very beginning that Clash Royale was going to be extremely successful. Every now and then I get things right. Every now and then I correctly predict the future, just like I did in Clash of Clans with weaponized builder huts. But my question to you is, did I predict the future or did I cause it? Is it possible that the Clash team saw my idea and built on it? I don't think they'll ever admit to me if that's the case, but that video is pretty old. It's been around for a long time and Builder Huts have just shown up in this last update. So, hmm, makes you think, right? You know what else I'm curious about? Why people bother to try to be first and then get acknowledged for it. But hey, if that's your thing and you're excited 
then I'm more than happy to back you up, especially if somebody trolls you and abuses you for saying that you're first when you actually are. But hey, I'm all about standing up for those that get bullied, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm known to pop into the comments and troll the trolls from time to time. Also, hey, if you're there to try to put me down or get some information incorrect, then you could prepare to be trolled as well, because come on, at least do your research before you jump down my throat for something like not upgrading all the level 15 walls. Now, I realize that many players missed this in the update, just like they also missed the fact that the clan castle donations have been nerfed. If you're a low level, you can no longer get max level troops. But I understand the release notes were really long and you really hate to read. You like to look at pretty pictures instead. Okay. Let's move on to some other comments because I do like to read. Uh, do I think that I will max out Town Hall 14 before Town Hall 15 comes out as a free-to-play player? Not a chance. There is no possibility of that, okay? Especially because I'm playing so many different accounts. Now, that is good and bad. The good news is we've got lots of content to cover. The bad news is it's going to take me a long time to get there free-to-play. But let's remember, in Clash of Clans, as in life, it is about the journey, not the destination. If you could get there right away, trust me, I think you would feel a little bit disappointed. I definitely had a little feeling of buyer's remorse on my main account when I got to fully maxed out Town Hall 14 and then kind of looked around and said, okay, what do I do next? Next up, a straight out solicitation for a shout out, which was going to get shut down until I realized it was the Costco hot dog. Heck yes, you get a shout out. Those things are good, although... I haven't had one in years, and that's probably also good. I mean, let's admit, anything that costs like a buck fifty and comes with a free soda cannot be good for you. Okay, moving on. I had some people asking me why not use the Book of Building on that multi-mortar upgrade, the gear up on the free-to-play account and on Gold Pass Clash. And the simple answer is there's no way I'm using anything that could be utilized on the home village on the builder base side. The main villages in both series will always be the priority and there's no way I'm going to slow that down just for something over on the builder base, even though it technically does get me the sixth builder, which does help me out in the main village. Okay, let's let's just move on. I wanted to say, hey, thank you guys so much. The kind comments, the loving comments that you guys are leaving are amazing and everybody is going to have people that don't like them, no matter who you are. That's just the way life works. So it is always wise to remember, never let the compliments go to your head and never let the insults go to your heart. I've always done my best to be myself in both my videos and my live streams. It's just easier that way if you're not putting on an act, it just makes life easier to go through and then you never have to worry about trying to impress anybody. Now, those of you that are impressed by the Sixth Builder series, I have to say thank you again. I'm really shocked because I did not think that series would be that fun to do or to watch, but apparently it has been fun to watch and I am actually enjoying it, especially now that Gold Pass Clash and No Cash Clash are in this neck and neck battle to see who can get to the Sixth Builder. We're kind of in the final strides of that, so it is getting a little bit more exciting, but I will say it does seem like Gold Pass Clash has it locked down. Okay, I have time for a couple more quick questions. Uh, as far as what device I play on, I always play on a standard size iPad. It's like that 10 inch iPad. I've never really liked playing on a phone and I've tried playing Clash on that really big oversized iPad and it's just, that's just too much real estate for me as well. Uh, I do realize that I left out Boom's attack on the Southern Teaser Troll Trap base the other day in the video. I think I must have forgotten to record it. So if you really want to see that, it is available on my Facebook live streams as a video on demand. If you hop on over there, you can always watch any of my live streams, even if I'm not live, they all become videos. So at this point, I literally have thousands and thousands of videos on Facebook about Clash of Clans that are different than my YouTube videos. If you're looking for something to watch and they are hours long, which actually makes me think for the very first time, there's so many comments where people say, Galadon, can't you make longer videos? Couldn't you please make 20, 30, 40, 50 minute videos? The answer is on Facebook. It really is. Go to fb.gg slash Gaming. Check it out. I know you don't go to Facebook. You don't have a Facebook account or whatever. You could make one. Go over there. And even if I'm not live streaming, you can watch what is literally thousands of hours of me 
playing Clash of Clans and talking to viewers. And yes, I have face cam in every single one of my live streams. It just never really became a thing over here on the YouTube channel. So I haven't added it after the fact. One more thing that I haven't done, and that is pinning comments. So don't feel bad if I don't pin your comment. It's just generally something I don't do. I'm waiting for like the funniest comment of all time, and then maybe I'll do it. Feel free to keep trying. And now you don't have to try. You did it. You made it all the way to the end of the episode. Galafam, you are the true hashtag Galafam. And that is why I love, think about it. I appreciate it. every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galidon, Galidon, can I borrow your iPad, please?